Ewalite wali. Ewalite rema katonda. Ewalite wali. Ewalite rema katonda. Emigo go jangi si. Elias wa talimera. Emi gugu jangi njirese. Eli mwana talimere wa. Talimere wa. Kono yesu talimere wa. Tale mere rwa, tale mere rwa mukama, tale mere rwa yesu, tale mere rwa mukama, tale mere rwa yakuwa, tale mere rwa mukama sebo, tale mere rwa yesu, tale mere rwa mukama sebo. Tale mere rwa yakuwa sebo, tale mere rwa mukama. Emi gugu jafe, tale mere rwa mukama sebo, tale mere rwa. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this precious moment. Have your way in our midst. We surrender everything. Take absolute control. Glorify your son, Jesus, in our midst. Speak, we are ready to listen. Transform us. Holy Spirit, lead us in all truth. Now and forever, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Beautiful people, you are there, you love to do the reading, please. I know now we are ready. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, you are highly welcome. Thank you, Jesus. As we all know, we are in the book of John chapter 13. Praise God. John chapter 13, towards the end. Thank you, Jesus. Can we have the reader, please? John chapter 13. Are we ready, sisters? You are there? John chapter 13, from verse 21. Let us have a volunteer. You feel you love to do the reading. It's where it will be a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me know if someone hears me so that we can kick off. Thank you, Jesus. Someone hear me? We bless your holy name, Father. We give you praise and honor. Glorify your son, Jesus, in our midst. Yeah, I'll do the reading. I want to believe you hear me loud and clear. I'll do the reading. Then I'll repeat our request. Please follow me with your prayer room, meaning with your heart. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, 
Hallowed be the name. Your dominion is forevermore. Adonai, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be the name. Your dominion is forevermore. Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be the name. Your dominion is forevermore. Adonai, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be the name. Your dominion is forevermore. Amen. Let us continue with our Bible reading. I'll do the reading unless we have a volunteer. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 13 from verse 22. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 13 from verse 22. I'll read then. Please follow me. Then the disciple looked one another, doubting of whom he spoke, doubting of whom he spoke. Now there was a learning one on Jesus, but some one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. I believe you are one Jesus loved most. Praise God. Let us continue. Simeon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spoke. He speak. He then lying on Jesus' breast said unto him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it, he, it is, he it is to whom I shall give a soup when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the soup, he gave to it to, to Judah. He carried the son of Simeon. Praise God. So, as earlier on, you remember, I remember there is one of our sister asked us, was it just Judah willingly to betray the Lord? Indeed, it was not just Judah willingly. Jesus himself, our Lord said, that is the one who have chosen him so that scripture can be fulfilled. Thank you, Jesus. So it was not Judah's will. The weakness of Judah made him a vessel of Satan to use to betray our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you see it is more advisable consistently pray against your weakness because Satan can only afflict one when weakness are available. But when you close the door for weakness, Satan has no way to afflict you at any time. Satan only have access on one when one give himself to weakness. So I'm here to say to us, don't give up praying against your weakness. Pray against your weakness. Judah weakness we know very well that he was, according to the scripture, I say he was a thief being that is the one who bear the, the bag of offering. So he's, he used to take something for himself without anyone else knowing. But God used to know, God knew that. And in other words, that was the way Satan used to afflict, to come to him. So here, please, beloved sisters and brothers, the Bible tells us, that 
Jesus make us understand that. They ask him when he had said that one of you that is with me is going to betray me. Or he have raised against me. What this teaches us as individuals, that if you do not really pray for people who are close to you, Satan can enter them and they be the very people who will want your downfall, who will want you dead. That's why you see it is advisable. Consistently pray for your people around you, even your enemies. Because Satan will not just come physically, but he will use people close to you to see, he will use them through their weakness, he enter them, then he used them to bring you down. So the best way is do not forget to pray for people around you, be it your enemies, be it whoever that is close, whoever that you are led to, please pray for them. It will help you satisfy them and cover them with the blood of Jesus. For here we see that the very person that betrayed Jesus was a man who was daily with Christ and to make matters worse was the one in, if it is in our days, I think he was the treasurer, the one in charge of finance. He was the one in charge of anything to do with the money. So it means Jesus loved him so much. He trusted him. So people you love so much, pray for them. And if anything happened, do not develop hatred but continue praying for them knowing it's just the enemy that have entered. So Jesus told them that the very person that I will dip this in the soup and give to him is the very one. Because Peter was questioning, who is it? There is something I want you to see. The Bible says the disciple that Jesus loved and even Peter could not just directly ask Jesus, but he had to ask that disciple so that he could be able to know through that disciple what Jesus is saying. This means that if you are a man or a woman committing yourself completely to God, you have the access to take the front seat of being loved so much with Jesus. Once you're obedient, Christ will love you in a different way than he love anyone else. Praise be to God. We know Peter, Jesus said, upon him will build the rock, his church. But here we are here in the Bible saying, the disciple that Jesus loved so much and he was always close to him. I pray that you and I will be that disciple Jesus loves so much. It is started by you believing as an individual that you are, Jesus loves you more than he loves anyone. Once you have that in your mind, it will give you courage. So listen, beloved sisters and brothers. The Bible tells us, and after the soup, Satan entered into him, then said Jesus unto him, that do do as do quickly. Now no man at the table knew for what intent he spoke this unto him. For some of them thought because Judah had the bag that Jesus had said unto him, buy those things that we need, we have need against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. You can see here that there is something interesting. Jesus, when they asked him, who are you meaning? He said, the very person I will give, I will dip this in the soup and give will be the very one. But still, they do not understand why that happened. The Bible tells us that as soon as he was given, then the demon entered him. And Jesus told him, whatever you go do, do it quickly. This is why we always pray that the Holy Spirit will help us to understand the language of God. Because imagine this, Christ have already told them the sign, but they did not really even understood Yet he, he have already told them that the very person I give this, they do not understand. So it is our prayer always that 
God speak to you in the language that you understand. And he will do so if you ask of him, you ask him. So the Bible tells us that them they did not really understand because at that time it was hidden from them. So in their mind they thought, since Judah was the one in charge of finance, maybe Christ is sending him to buy things they need for the, for the feast. Or he have told him to go and give some money to the poor. I want to touch the area of poor. See it most especially as God will provide. Wherever you are close to a poor man or woman in need, that is, an, that is investment that God wants you to invest in. See it as assignment from God by blessing such individuals, trying to help their life to be better. Praise God. Some of you, you may be so busy, but find a day you can do it. Praise God. I encourage you to be somebody who is so kind to those who I need. You can see here, in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, he demonstrated to us that based on this statement, it shows that they used to give something to the poor. So it is good wherever we are in position or wherever comes in our midst, we bless the poor. It doesn't matter. Everything big start little. You can start with the little best in what you have. And when God see how generous, or after he realize the motive behind what you are doing, it will increase you gradually. Before you know, you become great. So please don't overlook the poor people. Christianity, we have been called to remember the poor, just as Jesus showed us. Now, the Bible says no man at the table understood what, what happened because their mind they were thinking in sending him. So listen, he then having received the soup went immediately out and it was night. Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, now is the son of man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify, glorify himself in him and shall straight away glorify him. Little children, yet a little while I'm with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come so now. I said to you. So the Bible tells us, as soon as uh, Judah left, Jesus stood and told the disciple, people at the table, that now the, the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified through him. And he made them understand that God himself is going to glorify himself through his Son. The Bible says, he continues to say, little children, that as I told the Jew that where I am going, you cannot come now. Praise God. At that moment, he made them know that as he's on his way, they cannot come at the moment. But after they have finished their assignment, after you and I, we have finished the assignment given to us by God, then we'll be able to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. The Bible says all eyes will see him, even those who pierce to him. Praise God. We'll see him just like when you see lightning. All of us in the same hour, globally, will watch seeing him coming from cloud as he went. So it is my prayer that Christ find all of us worthy for his coming. Praise God. The Bible continues and says, A new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another, as I loved you that ye also love one another. This is the big problem in the entire world the word love. The way people understand love, it is totally different. Now Christ left us with a commandment. He said, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, 
as I have loved you, he also love one another. Jesus is asking you and I, let us love one another. A lo love is patient and kind. It does not insist on its own. Love does not rejoice in the wickedness, but where there is righteousness, which means if you are a man of love, you will hate evil because love is God himself. If you truly say you love, then you will hate evil. You will do others well. You'll speak good for others. You will not speak against them. You will help others, even if it means you can suffer wrong for their sake. Praise God. This is the commandment Christ gave to all of us. Let us love one another. Just he expect a husband, love your wife and wife, be submissive to your husband. Let the love of Christ be genuine in your midst as a husband and a wife. Where there is love, you will forgive each other so that there can be a room for the future. It's my prayer that you try as you can and you love each other. Praise God. Jesus is continued by saying, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one for another. People do not need to be told that you are a Christian or you are so and so. No. The love I extend towards you, the love you extend towards me, the love you share with your neighbor, I'm not meaning this love of boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, after you sleep with a woman, you say, I don't love you anymore. I don't. That is wickedness. You have humbled this poor woman by your lies because you want to sleep with her. After you sleep with her, you say, uh, I no longer have, or I'm no longer interested. Or after you have been with this man, you say, I'm no longer interested. Please. Such things are not meant to be in the house of God. Because Jesus said, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciple. The way me example, if I'm a husband to someone, the way I treat my wife, the way people see will say, indeed, this one is a disciple of Jesus. But if you are there mistreating your wife, mistreating your husband, how will a non-believer desire to become a Christian? The way you disrespect him in front of people, maybe because you are the one paying the rent, maybe because you are the one who have work. Praise God. The way you, minister, you mistreat people around you because you are the boss, please let the love of Christ be in our heart so that when people see it, what we are doing outside, they will say indeed, the love Jesus meant not only for fellow Christians, but to everyone that has breath, let us love them. Even though we do not share the same faith, let us love them. Even though they do not belong in this gathering, let us love them. Even though they no longer come to your gathering, love them, pray for them, praise God. But you find in a sense where by that people have been restricted. They have restricted themselves in many ways. But I say, let the love of God lead us, learning to share the little we have with others, supporting them, believing that Christ will bless them and become better. Simeon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, whither I go thou cannot, can't come now, not follow me now, but you shall follow me afterwards. Praise God. G Peter asked, where are you going, Lord? Then Jesus answered, our Lord is saying, where I'm going at the moment, you cannot really follow me, but you'll be able to follow me here after. Peter said unto him, Lord, why can't I follow thee now? 
I will lay down my life for thy sake. Jesus answered him, Will you lay down my life for my sake? Vainly I say unto you, thee, unto thee, the cock shall not crow until thou hast denied me three years. Every one of us, many a times we are just like Peter. We rush to make promises to God. To Jesus, I will not betray you. But the truth is that in our everyday life, we find yourself betraying Christ, denying him. How does this happen? Wherever one failed to keep his promise to God, it's like you have denied him. Wherever you engage yourself in sinful things, it's like you're denying Jesus. So it is my prayer that you keep your promise. Just like Peter, you see, he was not able to fulfill his promise to Jesus. And the Lord said to him, before even the crop will roast, I will crop. The third, it will not grow until on the third time when you deny me, then it will make sound. So this means that whenever, it is very easy to make promises to God that you cannot even keep as individual. But I will say to you, please, Sister Jennifer, I will say to you that try as you can you keep your promises to our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless his word. If you have a question, please feel free to ask that we can be blessed while answering by the help of the Holy Spirit. Any question? Yeah. Then we love to hear a testimony or pray for someone. Anyone willing to sing before we pray? No. We bless your name. Almighty God, we bow before you, we bless your name, Almighty God, we bow before you, we bless your name. Almighty God, we bow before you, John. We bless your name. Almighty God, we bow before you, John. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now and forever. Now and forever. Take glory, Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now and forever, now and forever, more glory, Father, the glory, Son, the glory, Holy Ghost. Now and forever, more. we have come again. Father, we have come again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Yeah, we see Sister Anne, please. Jesus. 
Kitiwa, unmute yourself. You unmute yourself, sister. I see. Sister Anne, we see your hand up. Okay, please, you stretch your hands. If no one. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I told me it wasn't weird. I don't know that I was still in mute. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm just going to sing. I'm going to sing quick and then you can go ahead. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. May God bless you indeed. Baba wambinguni akuna kama we. Yeah, you stretch. Sister Irene, please. Thank you, Jesus. I want to sing too. I'm um, like, yes. Um, okay, please. I can put the back because I'm driving. And it's I don't okay, have that. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Oh. We are waiting, Sister Irene, please. Okay. Ni Nikita Ganikita Niten Na Yesu Mukozi Wang Nikita Ganikita Niten Na baba mukozi wa nikitu ga nikita niteng na Yesu mukozi wangu nikitu ga kita niteng na Yesu mukozi wa nikitu ga nikita nitenga na baba mukozi wa nikitu ga nikita niteng na Yesu mukozi Go come on, mother. Oh, mekata Kabisa, come on, you vivo. Kabisa, ni mekata Kabisa, come on, maringo. Kabisa, ni mekata Kabisa, nikitu ga, nikita, niteng. Na yesu mokozi wa. Nikitu ga nikita nite na Yesu mokozi wangu baba 
tuko hapa Yesu tuko hapa Yesu tuko hapa tuko hapa kwa ajili yako tuko hapa kwa ajili yako Yesu tuko hapa tuko hapa kwa ajili yako tuko hapa kwa ajili yako baba tuko hapa tuko hapa kwa ajili yako tuko hapa kwa ajili yako thank you jesus amen amen indeed we are here because of him praise be to god i see the hand of sister sophie and mute yourself sister please praise the lord hallelujah um, i want to thank god for the beautiful life and i want to thank god for the life of everyone I'm sorry cause I was unhappy. I'm just up and down. And like I want to thank God for all what the beautiful thing God has done in my life. Of course, the Lord protects me. I just went back at home. And from there, everything was smooth. Yeah, all thing was well. And not that also, um, I want to thank God. For what God has done in the life of my big sister, um, they start with the traditional wedding at home. I was available. I was doing this everything. I was so tired. So I thank God. A lot of people was there. Wow, it was so beautiful. So I thank God for what God has done. And not that. Um, after the wedding at home, the progress of the traditional wedding. Uh, they've done with it like okay the lord has made it also the first of apple was the wedding in the church everything was so beautiful um like i just thank god because on that day i was so busy and busy and busy so i was just right there having my sister a lot of people wow it was so beautiful it was god who did it for my sister so i was very happy for what the lord has done and not that the lord just remember me again he really make it my passport came out i got a visa and the lord brought me back to work in dubai so i thank god so much right now i'm working so i'm um, not also that um like you know i was looking for some money to like to make me come back the lord provide ease of anything the lord make people give me money which i never even expect to come here everything god provided for me i like the day when i was coming back um like i was not um like i was left with one week to come back here to work then i don't know what happened i like i just feel like i'm sick a little bit then i went in the hospital then the doctor examined me the doctor told me that um you know Sophia, your liver is not good. She has some infection. Really, they say it made me worry to know. I said, God, I have to grow. I have to come and work one week. I have to take the mini the injection and everything. What can I do? My heart was really, I was really proud. Even yeah, my mom was worried. Everyone was worried. Then I was said, ah, what can I do? I don't know what to do. I was really a little bit pressed up because like I'm um, like a star. 
I was not going to come back and work because I was just that maybe we cancel the visas and the work. And like, um, then my brother, uh, the servant of God, my brother said, you know, Sophia, don't cancel your journey. Just prepare yourself, come, go and work. Then I was saying, God know is of everything concerning me, but devil is a liar. Then again, after like he prayed for me, I went back. I told the doctor, like after two days to check me again. Doctor say, there's nothing. It was our size the one disturbing you. Everything is okay because the deep is of any test on my body. Then I gave blood to God. I was very happy. I was very happy. Then the, the Lord, I thank God. It wasn't of me. All God was doing for me and my family. So I thank God. As I tell right now, my mom is fine. I myself am fine. God has given me a nice place to work. Everything is well. So I give glory back to God. I thank this of everyone who was praying for me. And I thank the servant of God, also Kasule Ibrahim, who was standing praying for my family. And I myself also for my everything it was smart in our family. So I give glory back to God. May God bless you. May God reward you. Thank you. Love you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We rejoice with you. We thank God it was the time when you say we'll go and come back. God, I've done it. I've made it possible. You're back. My prayer is God give you wisdom. You do the good saving. You continue preparing yourself because next we are here in your wedding. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, next, next year okay. we are here in your wedding. I'm happy when I see you smiling. I know even those who have been with you since we started. We remember the days where I used to say, even I, I want to eat egg, you have to cry for it. But God, you see how God is, God is good. Help me with love for Jesus. Excuse me, Baba Ibrahim. You know here what to right. eat? We eat pizzas, only burgers, we eat nice, we eat fish, chicken, we drink meal, we drink juice, time to time. Wow. Even the, where we are, we just use all the leaf. The place is so nice. We just give glory to God. This is God. <laughs> yeah, it is your time. It is your time, okay, it is your time, you. Rejoice. Okay, thank you. God bless you all. Yeah, it is your time. Rejoice. Those who remember, we say thank you, Jesus. We rejoice with you. May God continue to bless your bosses, people around you. Bless you all. Praise God. We rejoice with you, those who have stood with you. May God bless them. We are so happy because that's God who provide, make a way where seems to be no way. We rejoice with you. Praise God. Let the marriage of your sister be permanent. The work you are doing be permanent. Don't worry. You'll go home back again when you are such a big girl. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, God is faithful. Yeah, please. I don't see hand. I would love to pray for you. Um, I'm my so hand happy. is up. I forget. I need you. I have a prayer request, Baba. Okay, thank you. Okay. My prayer request is uh, first for me. Um, like I've been two days, my shoulder, my, my right shoulder, it's kind of hurting me so much. I don't know what happened. It's back and forth. And then um, I try to like manage it like this, but it's, it's getting like, it's, it's hurting me. But I, I can't even like hold anything on my right hand much. And especially like I cannot even like sleep on it completely. I don't know what happened. And then uh, my second prayer is uh, my dad is not feeling well. And then you know what is happening in Sudan right now. So I'm just uh, uh, want us, all of us to pray for him and uh, continue to pray for people in Sudan as the things, uh, the fight is still going on. 
and it's struggling it's still starting now so there's so much is going on right now even more than before like there's now like no food for them water so even money so even you cannot send the money to them we have money to send but you cannot they cannot receive the money because there is no bank is open they break all the banks in Khartoum and so things is getting so tough right now but uh, we know with God everything is going to be all right and then uh um we we just uh have to pray for their safety too because right now the people going to people's houses still more doing things like stealing if you don't want to give them anything they kill you or they just doing things that they're not supposed to do even so it's, it's kind of just hard and difficult and seeing people going through like this especially young young kids old people it's it's, it's kind of hard a lot but we know god is in control he will protect them peace is gonna rain back in sudan in all over the country that they're fighting we will have to pray for them and we have to pray for our kids as well and then my third prayer is uh, uh my son now he got ready now he's looking for a job so now we have to pray for him to to god open the door for him as well and open the door for all the kids that got well they're looking for a job right now so and then we we'll pray for all the children around the world. Thank you and God bless you. This is my prayer request. Amen. We'll pray for you. We take this um, Susan Stefan. Good morning, sis. Mm -hmm. Baba, I'm asking for prayer requests. Uh, I have pain on my left hand. Like I'm almost to fall in, not to come to work. But right now it's getting worse. I don't know. It's really like I can't breathe well. I ask for prayer. Request. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you touch where the pain is, and Sister Anne also touch where the pain is. We pray for both of you. Jesus is the healer. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the deliverer. Amen. Jesus is the problem solver. Amen. The way maker. Amen. Jesus, we are here, we are here, we are here, waiting for you. Jesus, we are here, we are here, we are here. Waiting for you, Father. We are here. We are here. We are here. Waiting for you, Holy Ghost. We are here. We are here. Waiting for you, Jesus, we are here, we are here, we are here, we are here, waiting for you. Come on, Come and take your place. Come and 
Take your place, O Lord. Come on, take your place. In this come and take your place. Come and take your place, Lord. Come and take your place. Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again. Open eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again. Open our eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again. Open our eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Stretch your hands where there is pain, touch that pain. In the name of Jesus, whatever and whatever you may have done, be forgiven in the name of Jesus. Son of David, let your mercy speak for us in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak for us in Jesus' name. Whatever you may it have done contrary to God's will that have lead, led you to this situation, be forgiven in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, speak to the mountain. I speak to that pain to cease in the name of Jesus. That pain Wherever it is, cease in the name of Jesus. That pain, cease in the name of Jesus. He sent his word and he healed them. I sent Jesus' word, be healed in the name of Jesus. I sent Jesus' word, be healed in the name of Jesus. The word of God that say, let the sick say, I am healed. I declare you healed now in the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit responsible of that pain, out in the name of Jesus. You demon, you have been created to be cast out. I cast you out of this system out of those organs, never again you return in the life of Anne. Never you again return in the life of Susan. I declare you healed. Whoever under influence of my voice, I speak to that pain, cease in the name of Jesus. I commit your son, I ask favor, in the name of Jesus. Wherever he go, he will be favored. I speak a job opening for him now in the name of Jesus. And all children in such a state looking for what to do, I speak favor in Jesus' name. 
Sudan and any other nation where there is trouble, God intervention, God intervention, God intervention in every nation where there is trouble. You covenant of killing, stealing, and destruction in our nation be broken. The gates of hell shall not prevail against our nation. I declare Sudan, cease war, cease war. Peace, let there be understanding in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We pray and believe, amen. It is well with both of you. It is well with your son. We wait to hear him testify. Thank you, amen, amen. Find a time and remind your son what promise he made to God. If he say he will serve God, tell him to take that very serious. I know okay. when he was going through some challenges, he made some promises to God. So tell him to keep those promises and you will see how God will surprise him. Sister Amen. Anne, you have heard me. Amen. Yeah, please tell Amen. Yes. him. Yes. Yeah, yes. find a time, tell him you remember there are times you are crying to God and you tell God something. So those things you told God, please, if you, if you say you will serve God, let it be. You will see God's Amen. glory. Amen. Yeah, we have the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we take Sister Wilma. You're welcome, Sister. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed to be in the midst in the midst today. I'm so happy Amen. and glad. Um, Amen. mine is just uh, I just want to thank God for, for everything for my life and my children's life and my husband. And as well, I just want you to lift up my family back home, you know, my mom and my siblings. Um, there is something that um, um, I start doing, we start doing there in the house for my mom. Uh, we just want to pray that let everything go successful. And even those who are assigned to do the job, uh, let them be honest and do the right thing. As uh, you know, the devil always will come, you know, special during those kind of things will come and enter people's heart. Like um, we're just reading the book of John and, you know, when it comes to finances, sometimes the devil enters somebody's heart and they begin to do things not right. And we just pray that devil will not enter, you know, those who are there to work and then just do things from their heart. So that's my prayer request. And uh, I miss you all for a long time. And it's so happy to see all of you online. And God bless all of you. Amen. Amen. Surely we thank God you, we can see you. We have missed you too. Yeah. Wherever you are sending money, just speak on the money. They will do the right thing. I love to say this to those who always come. Whatever happened, you always say, my case is different. When it will not work for others, for you it will work. So wherever you have a thought, I know that's what people do, but it will not happen to you. Just the Lord who have put that, I believe, I think if I'm not wrong, I think I perceive if it's your building a house, don't worry, they will accomplish and do the right thing. Amen. And God yeah. will provide. Amen. Yeah, we stretch, stretch your hand so that God will surprise you. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is you who put this thought in their heart. We bless their husband and the children. You know their income is you. They have no other source but you. You have said when we agree over something, so it will be done. In the name of Jesus, that spirit that entered Judah, it will not enter anybody in the name of Jesus. We speak honest in their heart. We speak love and kindness. Open heaven, open heaven for her. 
so that they can accomplish this project within a few months. Those who are responsible, as you choose men that will build the tabernacle, I know you are the one who have chose that particular, those people. Father, the Bible says in the days when they were building, everything that was supposed to be used, they did it the right thing, even they had enough that remained. So the same spirit be upon these people. We thank you because it is done. We thank you because you are God. The hearts of men and in the hands of God controls them wherever it pleases. At this point of time, we speak calmness in their heart in Jesus' name. Wherever your husband is and children, we speak strength and good health, whatever they desire as individual. Let them receive it as God will provide where seems no provision. We speak for you, the ministry you handle. May God elevate you and those you minister with. May God bless them. Whatever they struggle as people, I make a way where seems to be no way. That seems to be difficult. I command it to give way. Give way in the name of Jesus. I speak the light of God to shine wherever you are and people around you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, so it is. Amen. Congratulations. We were to hear that everything has been done and accomplished. Amen. To God's glory. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Beautiful people, please stretch your hand. We pray together before we call it a day. Even those who are under influence of this voice, wherever you are, stretch your hand. In the name of Jesus, we have heard that Judah was chosen just for that very act, that act. For you have been chosen to bring God's glory. Whatever has been taken away from you by demon, I command it to be restored by the power of resurrection. Whatever that leads you to shortcoming, weaknesses, I command it to be removed in the name of Jesus. Demon assigned against you to bring you down, lose its grip in the name of Jesus. Altars that have been erected to cause you pain, be dismounted in the name of Jesus. Curses that have been laid upon you, every curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Every negative declaration concerning you and your household, be counseled in the name of Jesus. Every demonic pronouncement against you and your household, be counseled in the name of Jesus. Whatever Satan may have used to connect you to himself, begin to disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself in the name of Jesus. Say, I disconnect myself from every satanic activity. I disconnect my marriage from divorce. I disconnect my marriage from hardship and misunderstanding. I disconnect my home from misunderstanding, from polygamy. I disconnect myself from disunity. Disconnect yourself. Disconnect your business from failure. Disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself from disappointment. Disconnect yourself from pain, sickness, disease. Say, I disconnect myself from anything that will cause me pain. I disconnect myself from anything that has to do with the devil. Disconnect yourself. Begin to disconnect yourself in the name of Jesus. Disconnect yourself. Don't keep quiet. Two believers are better than one. I will join you. Disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself from failure. Disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself from stagnation. Disconnect yourself. Say, I disconnect myself from every satanic activity. I disconnect myself from every demonic project. I disconnect, my, disconnect yourself in the name of Jesus. 
two believers are better than one. I disconnect you from whatever Satan may have used to connect you to himself. Be disconnected in the name of Jesus. That chain of Satan may have used to connect you to himself. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Chain of setback. Be broken. Chain of failure. Be broken. Chain of miscarriages, misunderstanding, sickness and diseases. Be broken. Chain of nightmare. Be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray again. Whatever you may have eaten in the dream from the table of your enemy, command it out. Command it out. Say, whatever I may have eaten, whatever my children they may have eaten in the dream or physically from the table of the enemy, flush them out. Flush that poison out. Flush that poison out. Flush it out. Command it out. Command witchcraft out. Command witchcraft out. Command Madam spirit out. Command marine spirit out. Command every spirit that is not of God out in the name of Jesus. Out, you demon. Command them out. Command demon out. Command them out. That weaknesses out in the name of Jesus. That unclean spirit. Command it out of your system. Command them out. Command them out. Out of your business, out of your home, out of your marriage, out you demon, wherever you are, out you demon, command demon out, command demon out, out wherever it is, command it out, say you demon, you Satan, I command you out of my life, I command you out of my business, I command you out of my destiny, you unclean spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, out in the name of Jesus, you the cause of pain, out in the name of Jesus, HIV, out in the name of Jesus, fibra, out in the name of Jesus, whatever sickness diseases, out in the name of Jesus, command them out, command them out. Command demon out, out in the name of Jesus. Release yourself, release yourself, release yourself in the name of Jesus. Say, I release myself, I release my family, I release my children, I release myself, I release myself. Release yourself, begin to release yourself. Begin to release yourself, release your finances, release your career, release your marriage. Some of you, you may be there, but you are in prison. The most deadly prison is one walking, but when it's in the cage, that is the most dangerous prison ever. Whatever cage you are into spiritually, command that cage uh, be open. Say that cage be open. Whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus. Command it, command any cage you are into, knowing and knowing that cage be open in the name of Jesus. The most serious prison is one moving when it's in the cage. People believe that you must be in prison. No, there are many are walking but in prison. Say in the name of Jesus, whatever prison you are into in the spirit, I release myself, release yourself. That cage be open in the name of Jesus. I hold the key that belongs to David to open that cage, be open, cage of affliction, be open, cage of hardship, be open, cage of disappointment, be open, come out of that cage, come out of that cage of limitation. Come out of cage, cage of divorce. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of that cage. Come out of it. I come out of that cage. Come out of it. In the name of Jesus, whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus. Whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus. Whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus.
In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. You are free. The Bible made us understand whose son has set free is free indeed. You are free, my sister. Thank Jesus. Thank him. Thank him for releasing him. Thank him for setting you free. Thank him for healing you. Thank him. Thank him. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Join me. We pray for viewers all over the world. Stretch your hand. There are men and women consistently following us. Viewers, wherever you are, distance is not a barrier to the power of God. Wherever and whatever, we salute your faith in the name of Jesus. You that on sick bed, viewer, that is not where you belong. I command you in the name of Jesus. By the power of resurrection, your good health that have been taken away from you, be restored in the name of Jesus. Your organs, be restored in the name of Jesus. I command you to be restored by the power of resurrection. Organs that are not functioning, begin to function in the name of Jesus. That organ, every damaged organ, begin to function in the name of Jesus. Begin to function in the name of Jesus. You that are on wheelchair, rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. You on sick bed, rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. I press my hand on surgeon. Father, give them wisdom in whatever they are doing. Give them understanding. God intervention. I pray for the church leaders. Lord, we are struggling to be like you. Give us fresh anointing. Without anointing, there is no healing, there is no delivery. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Every yoke upon the church be broken in the name of Jesus. Every yoke upon the church of God be broken in the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirit be exposed in the name of Jesus. Fresh anointing upon the men and women of God. Fresh anointing upon the church. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We bless God for how fire has brought us. Until we meet again tomorrow, let us hear together the salvation. Salvation is word abide in us and we abide in it. You can unmute. Remember, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the and of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy, and mercy shall, follow us shall follow us all the days, all days of our lives. We shall be the house of the Lord, the Lord. forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, beloved sisters. Thank what a you. blessing for us to gather. Praise God. Thank you. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Bless you as well. Amen. God bless you, sister.